letting these people go by because I want to tell you a little story. This is road is famous for people coming out and spray painting messages and and uh, that sort of thing on. And I'm gonna ride down through here real slow and let you see some of these. Now this has been going on for quite a while. It's kind of a tradition around here from the way I've been told. It's kind of a pastime. My wife actually told me about this and I thought it was kind of neat. You look it up on uh, Google Maps and you can see all these different things that are spray painted on the asphalt. I don't know when or how often, how long all this lasts or when it's washed off or how long it takes to wash off, but <clears throat> there's a bunch of graffiti out here on this road and it's encouraged you're out in the middle of boonies in Franklin Kentucky and why not it, it's not hurting anything yeah it looks a little tacky on the road but it's a road This is called Cummer Road. It's K-U-M-M-E-R Road in Franklin, Kentucky. And right in here, seeing all this actually puts me in uh, in mind of what Tow Wrecker used to show us the um, in Centralia, Pennsylvania where the, the whole community is abandoned and uh, there's a coal fire burning under all the houses and, and businesses and everything there. I'm sure this probably looks a whole lot better on a, a dry day where you can see more of what these things are all supposed to say and when there's not somebody burning or doing burnouts all, across all the messages and, and things that are spray painted on the, the ground. But yeah, this is two miles of spray painted messages on on the the roadway nothing harmful didn't hurt nobody putting any of this out here it might be ugly to some people it's artistic to others why they want to do this so much under the trees I don't get under these overhanging trees it's really packed in here I mean they've they've really taken time maybe it's just because it was a hot day when they did it and they just wanted to be in the shade while they were spray painting um, of course there's a creek that could overrun and wash most of the graffiti away but and as you see coming up this hill it gets a little lighter and a little more spread out Some of these things are pretty entertaining to look at.
take time and, and put money into actually coming out here to spray these things. It's kind of neat. I'm trying to go slow so that you can see them all, but it's also starting to rain. And not going to be able to see much after a while. Plus, if somebody else comes barreling down this road like they obviously usually do, since there's so many burn uh, uh, burnouts on this thing. And see, there's somebody else coming. There. I don't know if they're just passing through or out here to paint. That's the beauty of it. You don't know. You never know. My hair is kind of messy. Of course, I saw this on the um, on the uh, overhead view on Google Earth or uh, Google Maps, rather. And I mean, it's it's really. <laughs> been sprayed, over sprayed, and re-sprayed, and they even did the rocks off the side of the road down here. That's kind of interesting. This would be a good place to advertise my YouTube channel and get a few more viewers that way. <laughs> Just paint a big old blotch of white out there and a little play button on it and then put my channel name. Supposedly this is something that the uh, local officials support to keep the kids from doing the graffiti in town like I said this is out in the country out away from everything and everybody not hurting anything it might look a little messy or whatever but it's something that it's harmless. Now, why they spray up under the trees like this, again, I can only assume it's because it was hot out here and this is the only place they could spray without just burning up. You can see up here there's nothing. Probably because the thunder sound. that even is. Thunder sound. The lions. Two businesses right here on this road. I have no clue what they are. In 600 feet, turn right onto State Highway 816. Somebody's beagles are out. Next right onto State Highway 816. <laughs> no pups. Yeah, old fella. I'm not going right. 
going right back the way I came. I have no idea where right takes me. Continue on Tucker Road for one and a half miles. How about I do that? <clears throat> now there are a few little spray, pli uh, spray spots up here too. I'm not sure if it's the same thing. I get some brake uh, pads put on this thing. Sounds like they're scrubbing now. A little noise indicator. Okay, so here's some more spray paint. I don't think this part out here is as welcome to be painted up as back there. No, <laughs> Pac Man ghosts. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Pretty good job too. Yeah, here's some more. Got a farmer coming up behind me in his truck, so I'm not gonna <clears throat> linger or lag around too awful long. I'm sure he wants to go wherever the heck he's trying to go to. I just thought you guys might find this kind of interesting and, and neat. Why they spray all across the the roads and such down here. And it all, it, like I said, it's only out in the country where it's not as much of an eyesore for people. 